Hello there. How would you like to validate and simulate an IP block with an AMD Xilinx Vivaro that you created from Bytos Model Composer? I'm John Petrus with MathWorks. This is a four-part video series that covers getting started with the Abnet ZU Board Development Kit. In the first video, I showed you how to set up a project. In the second one, I showed you how to design an algorithm, a fur filter, and then simulate it on your PC. In this video, we'll talk about how to elaborate the design for eventual FPGA implementation. And in the last video, I'll show you how to create the final bitstream file for programming your FPGA. The main package we'll use today is Vivado from AMD Xilinx. This is the backend design platform that performs synthesis, place, and route. The quality of the results are very good, and the compile time is very fast. If you want to learn more about Vivado, you can go to this link, and you can download a trial copy, read about features and capabilities, and try some of the examples on your own. So with that, let's go ahead and start Bovado. This is what the home window looks like. We will create a new project. We'll go under boards and look for our Abnet ZU board example. And there it is. We'll open that and it will create the project for us. Now that our project is initialized, we'll have to go into IP repository and find the IP block that we created from Bytos Model Composer. So it found one project file. So I'll save that. And now it's a block within our library. And you can see when I go to the IP catalog screen, our filter is right there. I can pull that up and tell Bovado to generate the block. Next, I'll create the block. And we'll attach some IOs and run validation. And lastly, we'll create this top level layer. Now we're set to run a behavioral simulation. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it looks like that came back OK. Let's review what we've covered. In today's video, I showed you how to import an IP block into Vivado, create the interfaces in the hierarchy and run a behavioral simulation. Now, since everything is passed, in the final video, I'll show you how to create a final bitstream and program the ZU board hardware. Thank you for watching.